Today in the crypto space, we see the market taking a bit of a dip. Bitcoin down to about 67,400. Ethereum slightly below that $3,800 mark, down approximately 1%. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins aren't doing that bad. We, they are at least going sideways. We have Dog with Hat doing good. Sheep, Injective getting a nice bounce to the upside. However, we do see a bit of a retracement with Pepe and Floki and a few others. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but more importantly, I want to talk about one project, one altcoin that is looking pretty good at a good bottom level and that project is called zeus so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with this market we see the overall market cap dipping down just a little bit here obviously looking like it's ready to roll over a bit um as long as it doesn't make a lower low i think we're doing pretty good here we have a vol the volume kind of dipping down as well although we did get a bit of relief with regards to volume we do see a bit of a dip here also so the market right now is in in, in a bit of a retracement phase as can be seen if we start looking at bitcoin definitely rolling over we see that we see ethereum rolled over a little bit but the grand scheme of things it's not that big or it's not that it's not that concerning why because we didn't break any structure we're still going sideways guys if we we're going to look at bitcoin in a second and you'll see what i mean with regards to bitcoin and it's still within a structure that we can expect it to continue bouncing now if that's the case altcoin should still continue looking strong altcoin altcoins could still uh, or should still outperform bitcoin and of course, tonight, 7.30 Eastern, feel free to join, guys. We'll take a look at altcoins and any setups that you may want to look at. But in addition to that, we'll take a look at the Bitcoin dominance because we want to make sure that Bitcoin, at the end of the day, although we want it to go sideways, we want to see the altcoins wake up. We want them to start waking up and start running because we know that's where the gains are at. Uh, we have Solana going sideways. We have BNB going sideways, which is still good, guys. At least going sideways is not bad. In my, in my book, that's still a win. As long as you're not dipping down, we're doing okay here and you can see doge is doing a very similar thing sheep a bit of a retracement but it's been doing pretty good so it's not a big deal cardano bottom of the range still kind of going sideways and you can see the general market is still kind of going sideways except for a few like chain link still grinding to the upside slow and steady it's only up approximately one percent for the day however 15 or 14 and a half percent for the week so or not too bad ultimately but if you keep on going down rolling over for polka dot you know tron is at the bottom kind of going sideways we have near protocol retracing to the bottom again you know touching the previous low uniswap dipping down of course ethereum is doing the same thing so what else do we expect we have pepper rolling over we have a lot of projects kind of rolling over here and it's totally fine because we've been doing pretty good here in the last little while so we're getting a bit of a reaction a bearish reaction i think it could be a short-term reaction it doesn't have to be a big long-term pivot you know on the daily or the weekly here right it could be a short-term retracement before we continue to the upside we also have ethereum classic dipping down based on the ethereum narrative so expect that render getting a bit of life here 13 uh sorry three and a half percent after making a higher high um and getting a bit of support after the slightly higher high breaking out of the range because we did make a higher high out of the sideways range which is usually an indication of maybe we're ready to start moving to the upside bit by bit as we build those confirmations on render because render has been retracing already even prior to this dip and it found a nice level of horizontal support going sideways for a bit so that's where we can put our invalidations that's where we can you know potentially get into a nice setup there with a healthy risk to reward rate ratio on render so not bad there aptos rolling over we have dog with hat still going strong up 26 percent in seven days that's pretty good but again we have a, a bit of a rollover on everything ethereum based ethereum based everything is rolling over 
Filecoin going sideways, which is good. I like Filecoin. I like all the deep in decentralized storage narratives. Of course, Filecoin is a large cap. It's one of my OG holdings from many um, years ago. So I'm really happy about seeing um, Filecoin still around and doing its thing. But we do have some other major players within that deep in narrative that could, you know, take some of its market cap. So diversify that portfolio, guys. Do those deep dive research. Actually, check out my deep dive videos, guys. I release deep dives every Sunday and expect one this Sunday for sure uh what else do we have here stacks going sideways okb dipping down not looking really good there you know don't try to catch that falling knife wait for some structure before you be buying that dip optimism going sideways at least a sign of strength there we have bit tensor tau coming down a little bit um fine it's been a great gainer since um this last summer so there are going to be people taking profits for sure. We have uh, Floki taking a bit of a dip after a nice run. And one of the major gainers in the last little while has been Floki. So that's pretty good. Injective waking up. So you can see the general market is a, a, a pretty mixed bag. But there are, you know, it's still in on the seven days. Within the seven days, we're still in double digit highs. Like literally running 16%, 18%, 26% for Ondo. So we're still doing pretty good big picture. However, some are desperately trying to get a bounce desperately trying to get some support and eventually continue to the upside so i feel like we're there i feel like that's the level where you might want to be considering dip opportunities um, as bitcoin finds its bottom all right guys so we're gonna take a look at bitcoin obviously join me live tonight we'll take a look at some of the details on some of these projects and that's when i will be taking requests all right guys let's begin let's begin our research let's begin our analysis talking about bitcoin let's do that let's see what's going on with bitcoin uh bitcoin's still around sixty-seven thousand five hundred dollars it's within a nice little structure that i identified way way early um not only did i identify this bull flag way early but i did identify the fact that we could be ranging also here right and this is very important because we can stay one step ahead of the market you know prepare our portfolios for any potential move that could be coming around the corner let's look at this in a little bit more detail really quick Guys, I give you updates on Bitcoin twice a day, right? So we want to just make sure that we're we're on it. We want to know exactly what's happening. And as we can see on the daily, we are kind of respecting the horizontal again, which is going to show us a lot of strength. It's going to show us a lot of capabilities of using this horizontal as a good support level going forward. Now, I do want to get into lower time frames, but before I do that, just understand that we're at the point of control here within the structure. We have a bit of a volume gap below that could make the price fall again a little bit lower, maybe about to about 64,100. We have a lot of little tops, so a bigger consolidation down here with a lot of volume. And ultimately, this is starting to look like a cup and handle. Remember that we don't want to invalidate this cup and handle with a retracement that is way way too deep we don't want to retrace more than the 0.5 fibonacci which is more or less right at this level again 64,100 more or less so let's see what happens in the in the media short term we could get that rejection off of this level but the momentum in the trend in on the daily is not really showing me a, an extreme amount of weakness we are getting fully reset on volatility which is something that i appreciate given the fact that the trend of the momentum is pushing upwards still this retracement could be our opportunity to go long again to expect the expansion the green expansion to continue to the upside because at the end of the day the momentum did not get overbought we did not get into overbought conditions just yet so we've been going sideways we did dip down and didn't get oversold so we got to understand that that's you know something to be concerned about but if the bias is to the upside and if the bias is based on a bull run don't expect volatility and momentum to get fully reset with that much conviction right we could volatility can come down really quickly and get a bounce momentum doesn't even need to get to oversold conditions in a bull run why because we are consistently the momentum is consistently in um in a bullish state which means that we are likely to stay in the upper half of the um, oscillator a lot longer giving us higher highs and higher lows over time so this is what i'm looking for i'm looking for a bounce out of the volatility so we can get into long positions to the upside now again if you look at the price if you look at the structure we still are holding pretty nicely here okay um, let's go back to the trend the trend emas are still uh, looking for that cross we might get some red histogram bars in the short term uh, it doesn't look the greatest the trend does look like it wants to make that pivot are we going to get invalidated are we going to basically make a u-turn here possibly but at this stage it does look like it may want to dip further so i'm keeping my eyes open i'm being prepared for the worst case scenario so let's do that what is the worst case scenario the worst case scenario is that we respect the bull flag 
big bull flag right into here and we potentially come down to about 60,700 more or less maybe a little bit lower 60,500 that would be a level of which I start to be concerned because then we're going to be testing this low, which was, you know, a liquidity grab, a sweep of the lows, a field breakdown that basically came back into the structure, bounced off the support and, and went to the upside. So I'm really concerned about this level if we do get back there. Now, in the meantime, uh, we have to watch this, this formation because if it doesn't break below, and we keep on going sideways. We're going to be call, calling this a bull flag, a cup and handle. But if we do come down, at least we're still within structure. At least we're still in this bull flag structure where we can expect maybe a continuation to the upside eventually so just keep in mind that if bitcoin does fall down to about 60,500, the altcoin market the market in general will take a bit of a beating and we could definitely be buying the dips at lower levels so pay attention to that be prepared prepare your portfolio make sure you have some capital some dry powder left on the side just in case now i don't want to get into more bearish price targets because it's one level at a time. This could be a good zone, especially if we start seeing signs of support. All right, guys, so day by day, make sure you um, you subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you can get all those updates as we go through the charts on a daily basis. All right, guys, let's move on. Let's take a look at Zeus. Zeus, at the end of the day, is a, at a level that I am interested. I like this level, why? Because we're trying to form a support zone. We're trying to form a support, horizontal support that I can put a bit of confidence in. Why? Because we have confluence. Not only do we have market participation and you can see a lot of market participation in here means um, emotional individuals getting in building positions but we are respecting ta okay we are also respecting ta we got rejected at the top of this volume at the bottom of this volume gap right here we didn't close um candles we closed a little bit above a little bit but you know these horizontals are not per precise we respected it pretty much i'll scooch it up just a little bit so we can make it a little bit more precise now that we have the data point to, to play with I, I, at the beginning i was just doing this based on you know other indicators like the volume profile and so on so we got to update our, our strategy every once once in a while so that we can make it more relevant so i'm putting it up just a bit and you can see that we're, we're respecting the bodies we're respecting the bodies and we're respecting the um, horizontal of the volume gap that we got here right this is where the majority of the volume kind of dips down and then we kind of get back into a state where we got some volume happening again in the meantime we gotta ask ourselves what do you think is happening here i believe to, uh, that we are potentially making a pivot i potentially looking for a indication that maybe the bulls are ready to take the ball in their court but before that happens we're going to see a bit of a battle and that's where we go sideways we we get structures like w's inverse head and shoulders cup and handles adam and eve patterns and so on and so forth do we classify this as a v recovery it looks pretty sharp here at the bottom but it recovered really quickly it could be also a rounded bottom regardless i would like to see what kind of confirmation low we get if it's a nice rounded bottom you know great if it's a higher low cup and handle sure awesome anything that in here that in this area that suggests a pivot i am interested because at the end of the day we are preparing all this market participation is preparing for the breakout above 50 cents once we break above above 50 cents you can see that we have very little volume to act as resistance to hit our bullish price targets first one is at about 60 cents right here and the next one is at about 65 68 cents where you know then we begin a bit of volume let me show you what i mean this volume in this area could act as a wall of resistance and you can see that there's a lot of emotional individuals here that might want to sell off because maybe they're holding a red bag maybe they've gotten to too much leverage or their position size is too big and they're just done with it and they want to basically break even right so think about that there could be a bit of a sell-off so if you kind of consider this an accumulation range and we do have the point of con uh, point of control here in the accumulation range which is good you understand that all these individuals at this current moment are most likely accumulating because we're making higher highs and higher lows in the short term you can see this it's moving upwards while we get the volume coming in and we got this little volume spike as well you know that looks pretty good pretty confident so what we're really doing is preparing for the breakout we want an expansion phase we want to see this thing get out of the zone so we can go sideways a little bit who knows we can actually just get a cup and handle we don't know what's going to happen in here just accumulate i say that this is a great accumulation range and then eventually we break out and then it's likely we start producing some sort of structure in here again who knows what's going to happen but at least we can say you know what we'll put a horizontal support underneath and maybe accumulate for another leg up this is the bull flags this is the price action that i like getting into because we have a clear setup where we can invalidate our bullish thesis 
put a stop loss in with minimal risk and that way we can enjoy the gains and protect the gains on the way up like we should be doing when we do break out of this sideways range protect the gains dca out take a bit of profits trail up a stop loss be prepared that at the end of the day there are going to be people that accumulated in these bottoms that are going to be looking for profit take profit opportunities and i like the zone right about 60 cents again and then at about 68 67 cents i would be front running a little bit taking a little bit of profit off the table as well maybe 10 percent out of the time but would be a good uh, idea is to just trail up a stop loss well into profit and let the remaining position run to the upside because it could be that you know what we formed we got an actual bottom price here on zeus zeus is part of every a very bullish narrative we're talking about evm compatibility for bitcoin and ethereum basically being compatible and deploying smart contracts and being able to communicate and all that kind of stuff so that is a, a definite bonus and and something that could be really bullish it's part of the bitcoin narrative and it's also part of the interoperability narrative and it's part of the ethereum narrative and, and you can see that this is a concept that could do very 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 well so stop losses where do we how do we get in how do we protect ourselves stop loss has to be at previous low you got to be real about this okay guys we know that we have to protect our profit we got to protect ourselves here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a horizontal right into here and just be aware that this is your main your main invalidation if we break below this thick yellow line at about 33 cents guys we're making a lower low the trend is your friend we're coming down who knows how low we're going to go but in the meantime in the meantime building a position into here as close as possible to this invalidation even as close as possible to about 37 cents dca into this zone may not be a bad idea because if we do come down and get that higher low as a confirmation low then all of a sudden we're looking for a higher high and then we're going to be calling this a pivot point a change of character of the structure we want a higher high and a higher low technically speaking this is starting to look a bit higher than this one so maybe we did already get the confirmation high the higher high and all we're looking for is a higher low this is why I'm not willing to sleep on Zeus. I'm willing to DCA and build a position over time. Let's look at our oscillators here for a second. You can see that the momentum is trailing upwards. You can see it's moving to the upside. The expansion is pretty much done and tapered off. Let's see if we start getting a green expansion here on the daily. And I'm only focusing on the daily lately, guys, because really, that's all we really need. We don't need to get into lower time frames. We can make some really good gains and really good moves out of these bottom dwelling altcoins with great risk to reward ratios and those double Double digit gains could definitely come right after we build our positions here because this could be the last opportunity before we get into a very parabolic run this is the, this is the theory guys this is the this is the theory of the bull run and if you're prepared for it you should have a bit of exposure right so dca is great you see the momentum ema's facing up and everything looking pretty good here on the trend ema's uh, we got the histogram bars nice and green. We got the expansion, the purple expansion, giving me that confidence that we're ready to start moving over time on the daily. Eventually, we should be making higher highs and higher lows. So the bearish response, in my opinion, is in full effect. We want to see where the bears are going to take this price. Um, and that's based off the four hour. The four hours, the momentum is pushing down. You see the expansion coming down and we can kind of see even the trend is kind of pushing down. So let's see what these bears got in them. Let's see what kind of response they're going to give us or if they're going to give us that lower low we could still make that lower low with bullish divergence but at the current moment guys i'm hoping that we make a higher low and that we build enough structure into here to change the character of this structure from a lower lower lows and lower highs scenario to a higher highs and higher lows scenario so the trend could be our friend but to the upside all right guys if i've offered you any value in this video do the channel a massive favor slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm if you want to follow me on the socials the links are in the description below feel free to join the discord guys the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material guys are going to be live tonight at 7 30 eastern talking about crypto news and price action take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip